Hi guys, in this video I want to share with you the importance of breathing techniques and proper breathing. Every cell in our body has to have oxygen in order for it to function, in order for it to survive and to function properly and to, and to thrive. So one of the things I like to do is I like to do some deep breathing techniques and methods during my meditation time. Because a lot of times, especially if we're stressed out, a lot of times during the day, people will go throughout their entire day without really taking a deep breath in. And so we're deficient in oxygen. We're deficient in getting that oxygen flowing through our blood into every cell in, our tissue, in all of our tissues in our body. So one of the best things you can do is get into a regular habit of doing some deep breathing techniques. Now there's a lot of breathing techniques that are out there. One great one that I've been researching re recently is the Wim Hof method. And with that method, what I'm learning, what, what they show with their research is that you can control a lot of your autonomic nervous system, which that was something that we once believed you could never control, but you can control a lot of your autonomic nervous system with meditation, breathing techniques, and really doing, he does a lot of um, cold immersion or ice therapy where he jumps into cold water and it's immersing his body in this freezing, below freezing temperatures. And he's able to control his body temperature, but able to control his immune system even, which is things that we once thought you were not able to do. So breathing techniques can be really beneficial for helping you thrive, helping you survive, and help you be just be healthy and helping you overcome a lot of different problems. So I'm going to share with you a technique that I do that I've been doing for years. Like I said, there's many techniques that you can do, but the one that I do when I'm in my meditation time is I will take a nice slow deep breath in and then when I get it all the way in as much as I possibly can I'm gonna hold that for four anywhere between four seconds up to 15 seconds just hold that breath and then I'm gonna slowly let that out and then hold that again from four to 15 seconds hold that breath completely out get as much air out of my lungs as I can and I'll repeat that as many cycles as I feel it could be it could be 20 to 30 cycles, it could be 10 cycles, depending on how long I'm doing my meditation for. But whenever I'm doing that, a couple of things that are very important to think about is breathing with not only your rib cage, letting your ribs expand, but also breathing with your diaphragm and breathing with your stomach, doing some deep diaphragmatic breathing. So when we breathe in, our diaphragm is supposed to drop, which allows our lungs to fill up with more air. So as our diaphragm drops, our stomach will actually come out. So as your stomach comes out, as you breathe in, that allows more room to fill up, more room to fill up with air inside your lungs and your ribs will expand out. So that's all with breathing in. As you breathe out, you contract your rib cage, your muscles, your intercostal muscles between your ribs start to contract and that starts to push the air out. You also start to push your belly button back towards your spine. Now, whenever I exhale all of the air out I actually hold all the air out for anywhere between 4 to 15 seconds but while I'm doing that I am pushing my belly button as far as I can I'm trying to take my belly button all the way back to my spine that's the visualization I have is that my belly button is being contracted the muscles contracting pushing my belly button all the way back as close as I can get it to my spine and what that does there's a muscle that goes around your low back. So then the back here where my thumbs are, that's where your spine would be. It connects to your spine and it goes all the way around. It forms a belt around your waist. And it's called your transverse abdominus, your transverse abdominal muscles. So we have the external obliques, which is the ones on the side which go in this um, format. We have the internal obliques where on the side or just inside the external obliques, which go up this direction. You have what's called the rectus abdominis, which is what a lot of people know as the six pack, which is right straight up and down in the front of the body. But then you have the transverse abdominis, which is that belt like muscle tissue that goes all the way around. Now, by keeping that strong, the transverse abdominis strong, it's going to help with things like, like uh, you hear a lot of people talk about a pooch, like their stomach starts to pooch out. Well, that's because their intestines are literally starting to stick out more in their stomach and pushing their belly button out farther away from their spine and sticking out farther. So if you keep your transverse abdominus strong, you can help keep that in. Plus keeping your transverse abdominus very strong is very important to help stabilize the core and stabilize your low back. So as a quick 
conclusion and a recap for all this. When I'm doing my breathing technique, I like to do it. You can do it any time of the day. I like to do it during my meditation time. What I like to do is I like to take a slow, very long breath in where I'm using my diaphragm is lowering, my stomach sticking out more, and my rib cage is expanding as much as it can. I'll hold that for four to 15 seconds, and then I slowly exhale where I'm, my intercostal muscles are contracting, where I'm bringing my rib cage in. It's pushing the air out. I'm also starting to push my stomach and my belly button closer to my spine to contract that transverse abdominis muscle. And when I get that fully exhaled, again, I'm gonna hold that out for four to 15 seconds, depending on whatever, whatever's comfortable to me. So I hope that you guys will try this, implement this. You can do it during meditation or you can do it on its own, its own practice, its own separate practice. But it's a really awesome technique to help you keep your body healthy, help you not only survive, but also thrive because you're getting more oxygen to every cell in your body. Every single cell in your body has to have it. So if you can do this, you're gonna see some great results. Here's the thing I notice a lot of times for myself. There's times where I'm laying in bed if I haven't done it. There's times where I'm laying in bed where I, I feel the need, where my body feels the need, where it just wants to do that. So I start to do some deep breathing techniques. So the more you do this, the more addicted to it you will become because you're gonna like how that, that feels to be highly oxygenated throughout your entire body. So hope you enjoy this. If you have any questions, please give me a call. You can either email me, you can call me, whatever you'd like to do, but I'd love to help you out in any way that I can. Hope you have a good day and we'll talk to you soon.